Well, the last of the winter sports is here. So we prepare for the boys basketball state tournament this week. And for Cass Lake Bina, it's their first appearance since 2010 as they rolled through the regular season, only suffering one loss. A big reason why their 2,000 point scores, Noah Della Paz and Arnold Kingbird. The seniors led the way in scoring for the Panthers this season and brought consistency and leadership every night. And where'd that come from? Well, past Panthers pushing them to the players they are today. When I was like a freshman, I had other older guys that taught me a lot of stuff. And I just bring it now to what I have now. So just all guys before taught me a lot of stuff. They've been through a lot, you know, um, Noah, you know, when he's a freshman, when he's a sophomore. He, um, even back then he was a good player. You know, he was a good shooter. Arnold, the same thing. People targeted them. Um, this year, they're seniors, both the 1,000 point scorers. Going into the game, they already knew that. What makes the Panthers so tough? The other three guys on the court around them, Raul Washington, Ethan Brown, Jarrell Jacobs, have all emerged as dangerous options for this potent offense, especially the sophomore Jacobs, who settled in as the number three threat. When teams, when teams are close, they just tell me to stay calm and just do what I can do and score and rebound. It's just so nice to have not just like one or two or three guys on a team that can score at all, but like like that five and six and seven, eight. And I mean, it just, it's so amazing to have such a team like that. I mean, the team can all like, say two or three of our starters are out, I mean, two or three can come in, they can do their job. I mean, it's just what we do. Here's a look at the Class A bracket. The only team to beat the Panthers this season, Mayor Lutheran, they're the top C on the bottom half. Northwoods is the two. The Panthers, the three, opening up with Rusher Peterson. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.